Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullwood Adventure Club and today I'm going to be showing you how I installed a remote start stop switch for my Cummings Onan generator inside the motorhome. That was a big pet peeve for me anytime I wanted to start the generator I had to wake up, put on my shoes, go outside, open up the panel and push the start button outside, close the lid and as soon as we microwaved a burrito or whatever it was go back outside and shut it down. So I really wanted a, a start stop switch inside the RV and uh, so I had uh, somebody at the shop that just happened to have an old one laying around that was actually for a diesel generator, but it's still going to work just fine. And it had a counter on it. And uh, I don't need the hour counter, so I just took that off and used the switch. Um, you can buy the switches online, but they're like $50. I don't know why they're so expensive, but uh, you can definitely do it that way. Now, um, I don't know if this is going to work for everybody out there. I really don't have any experience other than this particular install. And so you're going to have to kind of take that with a grain of salt, do it at your own risk. But a lot of people have this generator. And when I started this project, it took me forever to uh, find out the right color coordination of the wiring going into the generator. So I thought I'd throw this little video together to make it a little simpler for you and uh, help hopefully help some people out to have the same generator, which is very popular with older RVs. The generator this is going to go on is for a Cummins owning 4,000 watt generator. It's an Emerald Plus, a uh, very, very standard, very common generator for a lot of motorhomes out there. So this, th there's a good chance this might help you out. So without further ado, we're gonna jump out there and I'll show you how I installed this right now. Okay, so here we have basically, this is a old own and quiet diesel start stop switch with an hour meter that I got from a friend for free. And we're gonna remove the switch and just use it because the hour meter is already used and I don't really need the hour meter and uh, it's also a play for a diesel I have a gas generator but we're going to use this switch to put into our RV as a remote start so and so here we have our color diagram pretty basic this is going to be the ground for your light the orange is going to be uh, for the light hooked into the generator and you're going to have your green your brown and your red and so uh, Brown is going to be your ground, green is going to be your start, red is going to be your stop, I believe. So we're going to check that out right now. All right, so basically this is going to be your cover here. You're going to have two screws, one here, one here. You're going to remove those. And this is going to pull out right here. And if you're equipped with a remote start, you're going to have this six pin connector right here. And uh, it took a little bit of time to figure out how to actually wire these up, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, so once you have the six pin connector exposed, we're gonna take our brown, our green, and our red wires. Brown is gonna go in the top terminal here. And of course, I'm gonna wire these up with pins. And you wanna be really careful not to let your wires stray and touch your circuit board, because you could do some damage here. But um, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick and easy the right order for these wires and show you an operation real quick. So we're just going to do it this way, placing them in the pins. So we have brown in terminal one, then we have green in terminal two, and red in terminal three, and that should start the generator. And the kill switch is there. Now this orange wire is gonna go in the very last terminal, and that is for our light on the toggle switch. And then you're gonna take an offshoot of your brown ground, and you're gonna take it to this top terminal up here. And so we have our ground, our power for the light, and then we have our green to start. Our brown is the neutral ground, and the red to uh, stop. And that's the way this guy is wired in and working, and when we light this up. Our little light comes on when the generator's running and it turns off when the generator stops. So that's a real quick and easy way to show you guys the proper wiring. You're also gonna have two more terminals here, and those are gonna be for your hour meter, I assume. But we're not gonna be using those, so that's not gonna be in this video. Now that we know what wire goes where, we're gonna go ahead and run the wiring inside and install this switch uh, wherever you decide to step to uh, install it and we're going to be in good shape and we'll have a remote start so we don't have to come out here and open up this uh, 
panel and push the start button. And actually my switch is starting to go out. And so rather than replace that, I'm just gonna add this one inside and we'll use that as our primary start stop switch. So let's run the wire. Okay, so I picked up some color coded wiring from Ace Hardware, left myself a little bit here to work with. Ran it to the back out of the generator. And it kind of goes up and over. And up into one of my pre-drilled holes for a different wiring harness. And of course I'm gonna zip tie that and secure it all. But from there, there's a cabinet underneath the refrigerator. I went through and grabbed it, came up here, this little hole right here, and then we're gonna run it up the back of the refrigeration unit, the refrigerator, and out to the cabinet. So as you can see, we have our control panel here. It's just two screws holding that in, pop that out. You can mount your switch wherever you wish. If we look there in the back, there's a little hole. And what I'm gonna do is send down some speaker wire so I can attach it to my other wire and pull that up. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that right now. So now that I kind of ran the wire down there, it's kind of, I can see it, it's just loose and I've got this car antenna with a hook on it. You can use a co-hanger or whatever. I'm gonna go up and try and grab it and pull that down and then I'll connect these two wires together and pull it up. And that wasn't too bad. I managed to snag it pretty easy. So now we're gonna tie this in a little knot, put some electrical tape on it and then send the wire up and hopefully we won't hit any snags. Okay, now we have these taped together and I'm gonna go inside and pull. You wanna make sure you don't have any big lumps or you wanna try and keep this as smooth as possible so it won't get snagged on anything. And we'll give it a shot. go. You're basically just going to take your toggle switch, give it a measurement there, cut a hole out with a Dremel or a, whatever you have, make that little hole just right and we're going to press that into place. And then your uh, switch is going to snap right into place there for us. And now we're going to wire it up. Okay now since the wiring I, I picked up at Ace doesn't have the exact same color coating as the other ones, I obviously hooked up uh, the green one that I had to green, the brown one to brown, the white one to red, and the yellow one to our orange light. So we're just gonna have to remember that when we're wiring in the uh, generator. Now we have the wires in, and we have reattached our two screws. Now we can go inside and give it a test. All right, so we're ready to test it here. We're gonna hit the on button. And I can tell the generator is running. And now we're gonna turn it off. success. Now we have a remote start stop switch in the motorhome. Very nice. Well there you go. I hope that points you in the right direction. If that's your type of generator that's really going to speed things up for you and if you have a different type of generator you're probably going to have to look up the wiring schematics and figure out which wire goes where and what terminal and uh, figure all that out. In the video I actually had to go and um, I forgot to film it but I had to go to Radio Shack and get some little terminals that fit into uh, those the right pin to female connectors so they're nice and stable but uh, you should be able to figure that out pretty simply and I hope that helps you out if it did please like share subscribe ask me a question leave me a comment all that stuff really helps me out and keeps this stuff going and until the next video my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and happy camping and thanks for watching